Hey guys, it's Bamfam MHD here today, and I'm going to do a Twixer syncing tutorial for After Effects. Uh, I'm using After Effects CS5, but I suppose you could do this effect on any uh, After Effects version that you can use Twixter in. And to get Twixter, I would just search uh, Arrivision uh, plugins on Google to find their website, and then you can download Twixter or Twixter Pro. You can get a free trial. Um, but it has an X, uh, red X to the screen, so you have to buy it to get rid of that and, and to get the full version. So what we're going to do first of all is uh, import our clips, uh, the music and the clip there. And so now that's in, I'm going to just drag the clip into this part, which is the new composition, and it basically just fits it to the same parameters it's got. So what I'm going to do is just start it at the kill cam which is here and then drag it to the start and then I'm going to just drag in my music first of all I'm just going to figure out I think I need to put it a little bit further I'm just going to do a quick round preview to find out where I need to put my clip Just move that a little bit further forward. So what I just did was as I ran previewed I pressed star and that put a marker on the music. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so I can see my clip again. And then I'm going to go layer. Uh, time and then enable time remapping. Oh, make sure you click on your clip when you do this. Uh, layer time enable time remapping. Layer frame blend, frame blending pixel motion, and then effect. Our vision plugins Twixter or Twixter Pro. I use Twixter Pro. So then I just need to put in my frame rate, which is 59.94, and there we go. We started. Uh, just put a keyframe at the very start of your clip. It just makes it a little bit easier to navigate. So what we do in this one is by where wherever you put your first keyframe and your last keyframe, um, that's set. And then you can just stretch the clip from those frames. So what I want to do is I want to find the first shot. So that would probably that's here. So I'm just going to put a, a keyframe right there. And what I want to do is I want to sync it with probably this beat here. So as you know, I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is sync it with this bit here. So by doing that, I need to just drag this keyframe here. But what I don't want to stretch it from the very side of the clip. I'll stretch it from probably about here. What that allows me to do is I can stretch this clip. And now these two frames will stay the same, but just the distance between them has been made bigger. So then it just it will give us a nice little slow motion before the clip hits the clip and then just after it I'll give it some really slow motion so just about as he starts to recock the rifle I'll put another keyframe and the the keyframe here is just after the shot and I'm going to drag it all the way down here so it'll give me a really slow motion effect all the way to here and with time remapping you're also able to stretch the clip just using you just drag it when these two arrows come up and this is the last keyframe that will automatically be there at the end of the clip, and you can drag that as far as you want. That's just where that's just where the en the clip ends. So I've done this slow motion all the way here. But then I want to give it like sort of a fast, a fast piece. So I'll probably drag the end here, and then he drops. And when he gets to about here, I want it a little about here. I want it to do some really slow motion again. So I'm going to drag this to this. Key, um, this marker so it drops and then it's not pretty much normal speed there and then to get to the end of, end of the clip I don't really want it there where I want it to stop doing the slow motion is probably about here probably just about there so I'm going to drag it to here 
Now I'm just going to RAM preview it. So I'm also going to put another marker just was pretty much about there on this one. And what I want to do, I want it a little bit slower off here. Let me drag it all the way to there. So it's going to be about there. And the one vital thing I forgot to mention before that is you need to click on this which enables the frame blending so without it it basically it will make it look a bit jolty so now I'm just gonna render preview that again and it's probably the last time so I'm gonna speed up video So there you go, you just saw basically what the end product is. Um, I'm going to fine tune a little bit and that's what you sort of saw at the start. So um, yeah, so basically you're just using keyframes and then you're just stretching the keyframes. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it helps you get, helps you out. If you have any suggestions for any more that um, I should do, then just uh, PM me or um, leave a message on my channel or um, I comment on this video. And if you liked it, please comment. Um, like and maybe even subscribe I'm going to do quite a lot more tutorials so thanks guys uh, thanks for watching and see you later